Hello, this is Unwrap and I'm your girl Helen. You're joining me from Le Dauphin Grand Paradiso Hotel in Roma. My guest today is Miss Universe 2010, Alice Rollins. She also represented Zambia pretty well, Miss Universe World, and she is still doing that market in Zambia in the terms of her fashion industry. I'm talking about Alice Rollins and we'll be chatting with Alice Rollins on the other side. that I'll be chatting with Alice. Alice, how are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Good. Glad to have you because I know you're barely in Zambia, so I was excited to say when you she's around, let's have a chat with her. Excited to be here? I'm excited. Well, yeah. <laughs> I am excited. A bit exhausted from the past weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but Easy I'm, I'm happy you. to be here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I must say, uh, you represented Zambia quite well, but I would like to know a little bit about your background. like. Uh, were you born and bred? I know you're based in SNR. Were you yeah. born there? No, 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 no. Well, I was born here in Zambia mm -hmm. uh, in a compound called Chunga. So I was, okay. yeah, I was born in Chunga, grew up there until I was about 18 years old. That's when I left Zambia and I went to SA. Okay. I went to school there, then I came back. Um, that was the time I won Miss Universe Zambia. Mm -hmm. Then after about two years, I had to go back to USA because it wasn't really match for me in Zambia, and I wanted to grow as a model. So I had to, I had to leave Zambia, went back to USA, rejoined my modeling agency, and yeah, I've been there since 2014. Okay, you grew up with both parents? Uh, yeah, until about I was 13 to 14. My mom died when I was 13. Before I could turn 14, my father died too. Ooh, um, yeah. Who, who did you start staying with after? Oh, after? my older sister. Well, it was a bit of a mess. But my older sister, uh, for a few years, my adopted father, who was um, my father's best friend for like a year. Yeah, and I had to pick up my pieces and survive on my own. Yeah. yeah. How old were you when you knew when you thought I have to survive on my own? I was 18. Wow. I was 18. That's the time you won Miss Universe. Uh, no, I won Miss Universe when I was 22. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, uh, you you managed to finish school. You what did you study when? You... Um, I'm a marketer by profession. Okay. Yeah. Did you start modeling at a, at a younger age? I started when I was 18. Uh, I didn't really make it well in Zambia. At 19, I entered First of Africa. Um, I went to the finals. I, I didn't make it. Um, that's when I decided to say, well, I think I could, I could use this. Because a lot of people would tell me, oh my God, why don't you do First of Africa? Oh my yeah. God, why don't you become a model? I was really, t well, you can say I'm still tall. I was <laughs> yeah. tall, dark, very, very dark with kinky hair. And everybody kept telling me, no, you can be an international model. So I said, you know what, let me try it. Mm -hmm. That's how I went to a modeling agency in SA. But already I was scouted when I was doing First of Africa by Heads Models. Yeah. So they gave me their card. I didn't really want to do it yeah. until I heard people talk about it, talk about it. Then I went back to the modeling agency and I told them I think I want to join. That's how I joined. That was um, when I was 19. Mm -hmm. So in 2000 and 2008, I started modeling seriously. Uh, 2010, I came to Zambia for a visit and there were castings for Miss Universe Zambia. And I entered Miss Universe Zambia and thank goodness I won. Nice. That was the first beauty pageant I did in my old age and yeah, I made it. Nice, nice, that, 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 that's quite a story. But for now, I want to, uh, I know you're not, uh, not really in Zambia, but yeah. I want to know how much you know about Zambia music. So I'll ask you to pick one of our uh, music videos that we can show right now. Uh, I'm very, well, I love you guys, but I'm <laughs> very bad at music. Um, a long time? For a long time, that's Slap D featuring yes, Bobby. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Let's yes. check out uh, For a Long Time uh, Slap featuring uh, Bobby. Right. I think the devil trying to test me. Help the Bobby and the bestie. Don't cheat it with the light skin. I've been for a long time. Feeling what I am, but I come. I've been for a long time. Been making money for a long time. Drinking honey for a long time. I think the devil trying to test me. Help the groupie and the bestie. 
Don't cheat it with the light skin. I've been for a long time. Fine no tayam baba kam. I've been for a long time. Been making money for a long time. Drinking honey for a long time. I blow up same year now I need to see. Oh, we ain't heard from in that all you got is me. Road bad boy, famous for a long day. Boss man ripping next to the YZ. I just say what I want, I got no breaks. Where too many chains, I got no neck. All the women that I know say I'm complex. You wanna see me in a box like conflict. Only time you're gonna win is when I don't press. So I text, I replied with a full stack. Pretty nigga with your girl, she my roommate. Long text, I replied with a KK. Before all C switched to being American. Before B Flow got his endorsement. Before Drake had shows, man, I had war. That boy Bob was hard like Van Bros. I think the devil trying to test me. Help for the groupie and the bestie. Don't cheat it with the light skin. I've been for a long time. Fine no tayam, baba kam. I've been shit for a long time. Been making money for a long time. Drinking honey for a long time. I think the devil trying to test me. Help for the groupie and the bestie. Don't cheat it with the light skin. For a long time, feel it no tayam, baba kam. I been for a long time, been making money for a long time, drinking honey for a long time. I blew up same year now I coolly see, but we ain't heard from my nigga. All you got is me. They wanted me to open up for Mr. Easy. I said it's cool, got you much to pay the same fee. Then for rapper choke a time we a geisha, two pack a caru punda ni ganet. No fit but jana bene capesha ta pangira mona kangono mu puma leja my bay psycho a call a lady gaga and me i'm me the i'm in dada me and bobby still killing it still on the same team sini kamba pali saga my line in it chalo mumutu him when the one line in it jumbo me disika le puka wangu osa ni palanisa na benangu si kompo you now rocking with the x y boys i ain't got to say you know who got the sauce Flow in my bononga. Plus I bring the heat, monga ni kusi a bonga. I think the devil tryna test me. I did a groupie and a bestie. My beard look like I'm Rick Ross. Show me the money. Ngatu funa kuti ne ninkala che wako. Oh wako. Mm. Hi 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 everybody. My name is B1, aka Mr. Perfecto, and you're watching Unwrapped with your girl Helen. Stay right there. Pizza. Welcome back. So that's Slab D featuring Bobby East with for a long time. Can you sing any line from? Um, yeah, I've been. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I just love the beard. I yeah. played all the time, yeah. and I didn't even know who's behind the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. So uh, here's the thing. Uh, you you ha you had your career coming up and doing very well. Everyone knows Alice Rollins, at least people who follow modeling and fashion industry. Then, here we see Alice Rollins with nude pictures. I must say, they were controversial, but they were beautiful pictures, <laughs> which I think they had some messaging. What, what, what was with uh, the, the nude pics? Oh my God, I've been asked this question several times. Zambians, you need to get off that box. No, no, they were just, just nude went pictures. Uh -huh. Nothing more, nothing less. You guys didn't see anything. It was just skin to skin. Yeah. I'm appreciating my skin. Yeah. I take good care of it. But then those nude pictures were for a product. Okay. Yeah, a beauty product. And I was comfortable. As a model, you need to understand that your body is a dummy. Mm -hmm. You know, you're there to advertise products, clothes, a lot of things. You yeah. know, as long as you are comfortable and you can do it and it's not pornography, you can. Okay. And so that was me. I have a beautiful skin. I yeah. take good care of my skin. I am not bleached, yeah, you know. I'm very natural. Thank you. So when they approached me to do a nude shoot, I was comfortable. Okay. I was very, very comfortable. And yeah. I've, I've, I've had people ask me questions like, oh my God, so was it a male photographer? Yeah. Like people need to understand that in our industry, you need to be professional. Yeah. So whether it's a man, man or a gay man, it's professional. Yeah. It's take my pictures, get off, I get off. Okay. As long as you do not use my pictures for something else, I'll let you go scot free. If you use my pictures for something else, I will sue you. Okay. Yeah. So those were just normal pictures. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you do, do you get any maybe your family was there any an aunt yeah, or was like yeah, what, yeah. what my older that? sister she's she's more like my mother. Yeah. She's forever on my neck. Yeah. All the time she's on my neck. Um, I think she received calls before she saw the post. She gave me a call, and when she gave me a call, I knew what she was about to start talking about. So I just said, you know what? I know it's about my new pictures. I apologize, but I'm doing my work. Yes, she screamed at me several times, but I wasn't going to do anything. I also needed to make her understand that this is my career. Modeling is a career choice. And for me, I would tell you, by all standards, I'm a very successful model that Zambia has produced in years. And if people do not appreciate my job, I will appreciate it. I'm not going to apologize for something that I know is not hateful, mm -hmm. you know, or it's not bad. This is a career choice. People need to understand that. Yeah. How have you made it? Uh, you've said you are the most one, one of the most successful models or the most successful model that yeah. Zambia has produced, which I, I, I would agree with that. But how most of the people look at models and just, just think, oh, she's a model. She's just slipping around. She's a model. Um, she's, she's making it. She's just. How have you managed to make it? How, would you say I've made it? I'm proud of. Let me tell hard you something. And, On the national television, I will say this: I have never slept with a man for money. Yeah. I have never traded in my beauty for money or to get to where I am. Yeah. Modeling is a career choice. People should stop thinking models are high-profile prostitutes. Yeah. That's so behind. That's like yesterday. People need to understand it's a career choice. I'm a marketer by profession, but I choose to do something that I really love, which is modeling. Yeah. When I did Miss Universe this year, I had girls that were doctors, you know, girls that were lawyers, but then they love to do modeling. Yeah. That doesn't make them prostitutes. That doesn't make them feel like, oh no, they can only walk in heels. No, 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 no. People need to understand that Modeling is a career choice. Yeah. I've made it this far because I understand what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I love what I do. And that's the reason why I, I've come this, this far. I have a thick skin. People have thrown oh, yeah, stones yeah. at me, yeah. but guess what? I don't, I don't mind them. Yeah. I move. That's me. Keep talking, I keep moving. I keep doing me. At the end of the day, whether you do good, people will still talk. Whether you do bad, they'll still talk. And if there's one thing that my mom told me at some point, I remember vividly, even though I was young, if people don't talk about you, then you're a nobody. It's either you're a dead or you're a nobody in society. People talk about me, this and this and that and that, because obviously I make a bit of noise and in a positive way, but they just disagree with me because they don't want me to be there. Do you know that after you nude pics, some people are actually saying that uh, in essay she's uh, acting pornography? Oh, they did? Yeah. Good for them. <laughs> really? Good for them. Okay. Yeah, that's true though. Good they for say them. That. Good for them. I have never done prostitution in my life. I have yeah. never charged no man for sex. Yeah. So I do not know what pornography that is. Yeah. It's typical Zambians. Yeah. Zambians, they ride on negativity. Yeah. That's it. And guess what? I don't like negative energy, but if you want to bring drama in my life, I will be as petty as you want me to be. Yeah. That's me. I'll give you what you want. Talk about it. You know what? You're using your energy and your time. Mm -hmm. I don't sit down to talk about people because I've got so much on my plate. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's time to make money and no time to talk. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Like, do something about your life. Stop talking about another person doing well mm -hmm. in our own lane. Believe me, Helen, I'm one person that always tell people, if you are a doctor, I'm not going to come into your office and tell you how to do your job because I'm going to sound stupid. Yeah. And this is me. When people talk about modeling and they know less about it, they are stupid to me. Okay. I look at them and I just laugh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, you, you have a baby, eh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, when, uh, when, when did you have the baby? Wow, I had my child six months after my reign in 2011. Six months after your reign? Wow. Uh, where's the father? Are you with the father? Uh, we're, no, we're not together. We were never together. It's something that just happened and I had a baby. Um, I would say I thank God for him. He gave me a wonderful child, but we're not together. Okay. Yeah. Does the child ever ask 
that he saw? Um, yes, he should know his father. Yeah. As far as I know, he should know his father. Okay. And he's, I, I let him, I let him be with his dad. I let him have a relationship with his dad. It doesn't really bother me. How do you balance your work and being uh, a single mother? I need to understand that this is work and this is parenthood. Mm -hmm. So when it's time for my child, it's time for my child. Yeah. When it's time to work, I make my son understand, mm -hmm. I feed you through this. So you need to give <laughs> me some space. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's just, it's just knowing the time, yeah. the timing. Okay, this is work and then this is parenthood. So if it's time for my child, it's time for my child, period. Okay. Yeah. So after Miss Universe, uh, you've been a runway model and, yeah. then, and you've been... Uh, Trying to okay, we'll, we'll, let's continue up there. Wendy may have to take a break, so we take a break and then we continue chatting. Okay, with the other side. cool. Alrighty, so uh, we're still chatting with Alice Roland. Stay tuned. <laughs> show we like to play a game called crush and wrapped so i'm gonna give you three names whatever i ask you you have to pick from from these three names okay so it's kayombo dancehall artist then there is james sakala what what's what's james sakala's kind of music folk maybe and uh there is uh maynard he sings as a video director his franchise husband he's a comedian he calls himself uncle bay who would you crush on? Oh, I know him. I would never crush on a married man. <laughs> it's so just a game. Don't worry. Why did I, I tell you they're all married? Oh, shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so. I'll go for James Sakala because of his Sata music. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, date? Who would you date? Who would I date? Oh, wow. Oh. Pick the for everything you feel like the yeah, maybe. James Sakala. <laughs> Would you marry him? <laughs> Would I marry him? Yeah. I haven't started thinking about marriage. No, so. just, we just have to pick here. Yeah. Hmm. Kayombo. Okay, cool. Done. <laughs> okay, where did the <laughs> name Rollins come from? My father. Okay. His name was Rollins Msukwa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, so you gave me Rollins. I know so many people have asked me the same question. Yeah, because we usually even forget your um, Suka. You put Rollins. We just put huh? Alice Rollins. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, just tell us. Uh, we, we recently came from Miss Universe, which you were busy organizing. You are the director for Miss Universe. Yes, yes, yes. Tell us yes. what's coming up and uh, what we need to look forward to again uh, from you, you. You need to look forward to seeing our girl represent Zambia very well. I feel like the judges did their best. My girls this year came with an A game. Mm -hmm. They all gave their best. Um, I was a bit confused on top five. Me yeah. as the director, I was like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. They were all strong. They all gave 10% of whatever they knew. Yeah. You know, So you need to look forward to uh, Melba representing Zambia at the Miss Universe in Thailand. Mm -hmm studying from the, well, she's going to leave Zambia on the 30th of November because okay. the pageant is going to be on the 16th in Thailand. And we've got a few fashion shows that we're planning to do okay. for her, yeah. And the other thing I would just love, love to ask from Zambians is that support your girl, you yeah. know. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't help. You know, not supporting her, and then you come back and say, we never make it. Yeah. We don't make it because you don't support, yeah. you know? We never make it because you always want to have something negative to say. I feel like Miss Universe 2018 will do very well. She okay. will do very well. Nice. Yes. We're looking forward to that. Uh, just now we pick another music video that we should show. Uh, Teti by Exile. Exile. Okay, yeah. let's check out Exile, now Israel with Teti. Baby, 
Welcome back. So that's exile with uh, Teti. Now Israel, he likes to correct that. Like, oh, Israel. Oh, yeah, but oh, then yeah. He's told so me that several times. Yeah. I keep on forgetting. Yeah. Israel, I will remember next time. Yeah. Okay, uh, Alice, I enjoyed chatting with you. Thank you so much for yeah. having me. But just now, I want you to just look into the camera and encourage somebody. What about first? Career. Career. Anything that you feel like sharing with uh, people or your fans. Okay, for me, well, I think it's 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 too much about me encouraging mothers to be mothers. I just want to encourage them and women. Let's work together. Crushing another woman will not take us anywhere. We need to work hand in hand. We need to support each other. We need to love each other. Bringing another woman down will not do anything for you. You know, if a woman is doing best, if she is doing her best, if she's doing well, it's okay to say well done. It's all right. We need to work hand in hand. How are we going to find men? How are we going to fight men that always, always abuse women if we women are abusing each other every single day? It's time we stopped bringing another woman down. Let's work together. Let's encourage one another. There's so much we can do together as women than bringing each other down. So women, with more love, I, Alice, will always support a woman. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love Thank the you. girl power. <laughs> yeah, it's it's too much of women fighting women in Zambia. That's true. You know, it's either you're too skinny, it's either you're too fat, yeah. it's either you're too tall, you're too short, and all these comments that come from fellow women, yeah. you know. Like now, yeah. we can do so much by saying, you look beautiful, yeah. you know, you look amazing, try this, try that, not, oh my God, it's her again, yeah. no man. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Thank Alice. you so much for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. Alrighty, so I've been chatting with Alice Rollins, she's doing very well on Zambian scene, and like she said, she wants us to support her, support the modeling industry instead of bringing them down. Like we always say, learn something from uh, our guests, they entertain us, but also we get to learn one or two things from them. Remember to like our Facebook page, Unwrap with Helen, follow links to our YouTube channel so you can watch these episodes as many times as you feel like. From me, your girl Helen, and the entire group, it's bye-bye. <laughs>